<laughs> Everybody's asking who is who is the co-caster. <laughs> ah, shh, don't tell them. Just no, say no, I'm no, just no. a nobody. Yeah, no, wait, you can because they some some of them or most of them know already, so you can't stay hide anymore, man. Sorry. <laughs> okay, let's see again. I'm in Dogao's point of view, and again Dogao in the right side uh, flank. A Mongol is gonna be versus Mayan, great player. This is good for both teams. And in the left side is gonna be Fish with Hans. This is not good versus Spanish alive. Oh, I think they would prefer Mayan instead of of uh, Spanish, the Brazil team. So we know now. Uh, VH Hans and Wrath Mans pockets for the Brazilian team and Mongols fast with with Mayan no with blue where, where where is the where's the guys come on man where are the guys yeah blue and teal Spanish and and Mongols for Vietnamese team what do you think hmm well Mongols obviously you gotta go I think aggressive um I would yeah, yeah. Uh, let me have a look on the other side, I don't know, one sec. I'm, I was checking the maps a little bit, I see Dogao having back gold, uh, also the boars are back, so he's gonna be safe. Uh, he's, uh, what, he's Mongols, okay, he will need stone, and stone, you see the main stone, one of the stones forward from his town center, and the, no. the other one behind the forest, where he's making the lumber camp, well, that's not that good to have, to be honest. Uh, and his flank, his other flank, the Mayan guy, look how forward he went uh, to build the houses. I assume he will wall, he will wall there, there in, in front to be safe, if not even wall completely, completely his base. Here comes VH. <laughs> uh, where is, where is, where is VH? He's going to uh, fish by the look of it. Oh yeah, the scout is going there and... Ah, uh, but look at, look at fish going for that uh, first boar. Oh man, don't hit the town center, fish. Oh. Don't hit the town center, oh, he's go gone away! There. No, 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 he's gonna, he's gonna save it, he's gonna save it. That's for sure. Well done. Oh, actually he's trying to... To make the villager lose, nah, nah, it's, he's fine, he's fine. And the life com coming straight to the town center, alive, go away, man. <laughs> Look he's at got that. a mate. That, that TC's got a magnet on it. <laughs> yes, probably. I don't know what to say. Anyway, a is still there with his scout, the same as alive. And Fiege is going for the boar. Let's see. He can see the boar. Will he lame it? He will, man. Look at that. I told you about Fiege. Well done. Well done. Oh my god. <laughs> but I don't know how big success he can have. Really. Because I think the other guy will, will try to, to go with the scout. And he is. Look. He's coming back now with the scout. Depends now. Come on, I will put in, in view lock for Fiege. Where are you? Where are you, Fiege? Okay. Go. Oh, and look, look at Orange. He could see, he could see the uh, Fiege scout. But a life do doesn't seem to be far away from there. Ah, only 10 hit points left. I don't think he will be able to take it, man. Really. Now seven hit points left. Actually, if Purple will send a villager now to to lure the boar, I think he can get it. I think he can get yeah. it. He should do. Go on, get a no, no. He yeah, is. He has. He is. No, no. Come on, man. Get it, get it, get it with the villager. And he is. Come on, look at that. <laughs> How crazy this is. Well done. And the boar is going. The boar is going. No, uh -huh. it stopped. Yeah, but he's saving villagers there. He will get it for sure, a hundred percent. 
Look at that. Oh man, but that boar is really stubborn. You, you, you saw how many times it stopped or it, it even wanted to go back. Come on. My gosh. <laughs> yes. But where is the third boar of uh, of wrath? He took all three. Ah, yes, it's the third one. Oh man, so now uh, fish, yes, orange player, is one boar less. And I think they consider to, to do team walling. Oh, yeah, that's yes. what I was looking at. All Look right, at Wrath. Look at Wrath. How big wall he's making. Yep. Dogao the same with the barrack up. And obviously he will go uh, drushing. I see also purple. Now go drushing. Yes, Spanish. Wrath. No, alive. Sorry. Yes, he's going with militias. Yeah, they're gonna team wall. They are talking about it. But Gray, uh, VNS HK is also there with the scout and uh, his militias. Dogao coming back with militias. But he's gonna lose the villager, man. He lost the villager. Now trying to run with the scout. Let's see this micro. Oh, Dogao lost one more militia. He's coming with one more villager. He lost another militia. And he's hitting the... Ooh, look, two hit points left for uh, Gray's uh, scout and... Kill it, man! Kill it! He prefers to go back with the villager. Ooh, this doesn't look good, man. Doesn't look good. Successful, successful drush there. Real yep. good. While purple... Oh, look at purple going for the lumbers. Uh, of the orange. But nothing big. No. And I don't think it's a wise decision. Look at Dogao, one hit, poo, and Gray lost his scout for nothing. I was about to say, not a good thing to keep your scout idle, not far away, with two hit points left. What was Gray thinking about, man? Dogao is on the way yeah. to feudal age, having 26 population. Yes, they are they are considered to, to team walling. I see VH sent villagers uh, to take the deers. He's he's making a mill and he's having a lot of farms so early in the game. Look at this. Seven farms already. Yes, and now Dogao will wall forward completely. While purple what is purple having? Gonna go scouts, I think. Purple going scouts. Yes, stable and blacksmith. Right, you were right. While it's surprising for me to see the other the other guys, you know, the Vietnamese team not walling, man. I see Gray making now big walls, so probably they consider to, to do the same. Oh, yeah. Gray's gonna stop that wall. Where? Oh no, he, yeah. Um, sorry, on uh, on yellow, he's coming up with the militia. Yeah, yeah I see. On the but, hill, yeah. But he made that. Oh, 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 micro your villager, man. I saw it. Blue player going stable, so probably he will go a few scouts or prepare to go fast. A uh, castle age. But impressed with Dogao, man, with yes. uh, with yellow player being flank. Look at look at him. He's already having the resources to go up. Now making the blacksmith, and he can click up, man. Being flank. This yeah, that's fast. Yes. And and don't forget, he lost fast. those veils as well. The the, the drush from um, HK VNS HK. Yes. He got that veil. Whoa. Hmm. He's still with that militia there, nice. But now Dogao is on the way to Castle Age. Let's see who else. Fish is far away from Castle. I see Great. Now he clicked to go up with 31 pop, 28 pop for VNS fast 
which is oh so close to Castle Age. The same for Wrath with 30 population. No. Even one more extra. Oh, and look at Orange. Orange. Yeah. In oh, purple. He lost a scout. Yeah, he lost a scout in purple but base. But blue's there also. Yeah, but well, he lost uh, he lost a villager, I think. Yep. Nice raid, nice raid. Oh yeah, yeah, good man. Yeah, uh, good. Blue is also on the way to Castellage. Fiage on the way to Castellage with 31, and a pretty strong economy. Really, five villages on gold. Now he's making the second stable, having a lot of farms. Having oh, Fiage's gonna lose a bill. Orange is on him. Yeah, yeah. He can lose a villager. Nice, nice uh, aggressive play by the Vietnamese team. Now Fiege is going there with a Britney, but yeah, he lost the scout. He, he lost the villager, sorry. But go, man, hit him. He prefers to go back to the... to the mill. I mean, at the berries, probably to protect the villagers there. What is Dogao doing? He's making archers. But they are almost completely if not completely walled no actually Fiage didn't completely wall i mean between him and purple it's yeah still yeah they are still open i see orange making the second archery range teal vns fast having already knights but yeah for now Nowhere to go in. Check your idols, Dogao. Yes, finally. He's making that villager building a house. Yeah, he might get a double wall there, yeah. Yep, he will. While Fiege is making knights. He's making knights. Send them where? Oh, to Orange. Straight to Vinet Fish, yeah. To Orange. Let's see, let's see. He's having two Britneys to defend and an, an archer. Yeah, he saw it. Uh, he's not having any upgrades to his knights yet. But he's coming. He's coming forward with more. Oh, come on. All those wolves loving him so much. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> two wolves chasing uh, his knights. Oh, but look at look, look at blue, blue and orange again on purple at the gold. But come on, man, don't hit the minestone. Blue, wake up, blue. Ooh, with no upgrades as well. They yeah, they will yeah. die to the tower. Like okay, yeah. let's see, Fiage, where are you? Ooh, going to the to the wood of orange. Oh, yeah, yeah, he's gonna lose the some villagers, I think. But hit the villagers, man. Yeah, Fiege now doing a great job. One villager down. Two. Three. He also lost four. He also lost a, a Britney. Five villagers in total. And the spear. This was a good raid for, for Fiege. Oh no, man. But he moved the Britneys away. Yes. That was uh, a bit of a mistake there, I think. A little bit of, yeah, like you said. And now he can kill those scouts and the spear, of course, and the archers if he's not careful enough. Come on, Orange, what are you doing? While well, on the other side, Fiege tried to uh, to kill a few villagers at the gold, but this time he was uh, careful enough. Look at Wrath uh, coming with Dogao in his base. I think they will try to go double grey. Yeah, they should do, yeah, definitely. Ian is fast sending a few knights forward no. without uh, without any upgrades still. <laughs> While now Fiege will send his knights to blue base. Blue with one uh with one stable and now making the fourth town center. Whoa, strong. Strong, strong. Very strong, yeah. Shh. 
Yeah, and look, Peel's Knights going into Fiege base because between him, between Fiege and Alive, they didn't wall, so uh, he might have some surprises, probably. Let's see, oh, but Fiege now can go again uh, to harass fish at the wood. While, oh, look at Fiege, he came out with the monk. Converted one of one of Teal's knights. Teal didn't <laughs> see it, man. Oh, come on. They are playing good. The Vietnamese team is it's fine until now. Well, uh, Orange doesn't look quite that good yet. He's still in in feudal age, having oh now he, he hit the uh, castle age with three archery ranges. But now, both Alive and Fiege coming for his wood again. Ooh, let's see. Oh my. But now Fiege having, you know, two, of, two or three of his knights were, were having few hit points. Now he's gonna lose. Yep, he is. Well, in the other flank, not too much action. I see Wrath going, running from one side to another. Ah, he's trying to, to kill the, the, the gray uh, plumed archers and he's having more, with more upgrades. Wrath plumed archers with plus two attack while uh, gray's archers with plus one only fletching. And now fast, still killing a few crossbows. From Dogao, come on, man! Somebody uh, either go help him or Dogao just stop and try to kill as many knights as possible. Well, Wrath is coming with his plumed archers. He lost two, yeah, two uh, crossbows for now, but now. They gotta go and hit alive. Fish has gotta go there. Yeah. And they, it looks like they are, yeah. Oh, but look at Blue. Blue said he's up to Imperial. Cool. Yeah. Blue is up to Imperial with 86 population. He's not the strongest anyway, but he's up. And he's with uh, Orange hitting uh, Purple alive. Yeah. Oh, man. Really, I, I'm telling you, this doesn't look good for, for the Brazilian team, man. I don't know what they gonna do, but they really gonna do. They really gotta do something. Okay, now Till preparing to go on green base. Oh, just when Green deleted his palisade to make another forward castle, man, and Till is inside. Oh, he's gonna see. Yeah, he's Till is inside, and I mean inside. He can kill those villagers. Ooh, wrath, wrath. Come on, man. And he can also go inside. Well, he's now trying to make a house and probably one, two more palisades just to keep away those knights. Yeah. One more, but still, not completely uh, yeah. walled. Oh, man, this doesn't look good. Really doesn't look good for Brazilian oh, team. Oh, look at that gold. Yes. And the Teal's Knights are with plus two armor, man, and plus one attack, so really good. But let's see now, Purple uh, trying to put pressure on on Orange, and he is, he is doing well. Orange still with three uh, archery ranges. He's having, yes, he's having the bloodlines for his Cav Archers. I see Fiege stonewalling uh, behind his uh, his palisade. Yeah. Okay, and one more time going to orange. Alive. Ralph's losing a lot of eels there. Uh, who? Uh, uh, Ralph. 
Green, green. Yeah, yeah green, yeah, green. Yeah. I mean, still a few knights left from from Teal player. And Teal still uh, still coming with more with more knights. <coughs> Sorry. And he's behind him as well. Yep. Okay, looks like now purple uh, alive is strong enough to hold versus two versus orange and blue player. Ooh, and look at look at Teal's knights. He ended up in Dogao in yellow's base, killing a few villagers. <coughs> Teal did nice great. Nice raiding so by far. him, man. Yeah, yes. brilliant. But now he's gonna lose. He's gonna lose those knights without too much hit points left. Yeah, one more down. He's gonna lose one more. And one more knight left with 11 hit points. Not that much. They done, they done their job. Okay, but look, look at blue. Blue now is having cavaliers. Nice, really strong. Cavaliers hitting on uh, alive on purple. He's keep coming with more. Look at that, man. And now Grey, look at Grey there with plumed archers and yes. wrath. Yeah, he's sending now the villagers mining stone. He sent them back. <clears throat> I see Fee Age now on the way to Imperial Age. Uh, purple making another uh, defensive castle to, 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 to safely mine that gold. Converted even a cavalier. Oh, orange! Go back, man, with the cav archers. Yeah, don't oh. lose them for no reason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now blue coming forward with the cavaliers. Let's see if uh, he wants to to hit uh, purple or if he will send them to another another place. Now Grey with trebuchets starting to hit Dogao's castles. Oh, but Grey now getting trapped from two sides. Uh, from Green's plumed archers. But check it out, man. Try to do something, Dogao. Try to do something to get rid of those two trebuchets. <clears throat> yeah, he's sending, uh, well, 40 arcs. Look now, 40 plumes. And uh, another forward castle from Grey. Really nice, really nice. Now Fiege is in Imperial as well. Let's see. Purple and red fighting versus uh, you know, orange and blue. But Cavaliers. Cavaliers are much stronger. On 40 population. Oh, but like you said, look at look at green. Yes, with a lot of elite plumed archers and Dogao with mango dice coming. But You've got that castle up though. Yes, yep. unfortunately that, that castle is up, so... Green, green, go back, man. Yeah, don't lose your... Yes. Don't lose your plumed archers. Look at blue, blue and purple trying to go inside purple's base. And he is. Actually, he is. Come on, Fiege. Fiege must come with his knights. Let me check his stables. Yeah, now he's having also uh, cavaliers. Oh, but look at blue. Blue is with Paladins. Paladins. <laughs> Paladins. Just when, uh, just when alive arrived to Imperial Age, but he's gonna lose that town center. That town center is gonna be lose. Yeah, down. Well, look at. Look at the other side. Uh, oh, they, they man. managed to they managed to destroy the trebuchets, and now uh, Dogao with uh, trebuchets out, uh, <laughs> starting to hit that uh, castle for castle. Look at alive, from gray. Alive in uh, purple state there. Yes. Sorry. Um, yes. Katiksu, whatever that is. <laughs> yeah, blue, blue player, blue player. They destroyed but, one TC, nearly two. Yes, and almost took the second one down. Strong play, really strong play. Purple is having... Ooh, 
but his population is still fine. I mean, uh, you know, alive, having 114 population, 127 for fish though. The fish managed to recover a little bit after he was kind of down, you know. And yeah, blue, big time. And blue is, is calling uh, orange to stay with him. That's why he's just pressing, start the game, start the game. Like, come with me, come with me, don't leave. In the other flank, though, looks like uh, Brazil team can push now. That castle, that forward castle from Great down. And now uh, Dogao can come forward with his uh, trebuchets, uh, having elite mango dice, with the help from Wrath with elite plumed archers. I see the other Mongol fast. Look, he seems to be out of gold. Uh, he's coming with Hussars. Hussars against elite mango dice and elite plumed archers are not that strong, man. But I see them no. making trade. Yep, the Vietnamese team started the, the trade. The Brazilian team will also uh, start the start the trade. And look at look, look at the actually uh, blue player. He managed to destroy yeah. one more town center from purple man. With the purple's help. in trouble. Yeah, yeah, he is. Vh is there with a lot of cavaliers, and I think he wants to send those cavaliers into blue base or maybe teal's base. Because I don't see him defending purple. Come on, man. Don't let him completely die. Purple is gonna lose another town center. A lot of paladins from blue. Yeah. And yeah, VH is going for either orange. Yeah, I think he will go for orange and blue. Raiding. No. And unfortunately, a lave, a li a VH also seems out of gold because he is making now light calves. But let's see this raiding. He's in orange base with his cavaliers, with a part of his cavaliers, with the other, another part of cavaliers. He's going into blue base. At the wood, at the wood, hit him, hit him. But blue seems to be too strong, really. Alive seems to have big problems. He's about to lose another town center and he will be left with only two. No. Come on, man, that's so strong. VH is now having paladins inside blue yes. base. Well, Brazil should, uh, should uh, go faster on the other flank. Well, yeah, push they more, are. push more. Yes, they are, they are. Because Alive, Alive seems to be suffering quite a lot more than actually a uh, grey player. HK on the other side, uh, looks, uh, at least look look at grey player, he's having 172 population while Alive 88, almost half. Seed Rams, uh, Lotuses from uh, Dugal there as well. Siege ramps, oh yes, I see siege ramps, but now uh, fast is also there with elite mango dice, which is yeah, which is good. But combined, you know, plumed archers, it, it seems that the Brazilian team having more gray at least wrath. It seems that he's having way more plumed archers than gray is having. Okay, okay, VH, what are you doing? Still trying to raid? Well, he did okay, but not uh, what they expected. And look at Wrath. Uh, look at the life, sorry. Rebuilding his, uh, rebuilding his uh, town centers. Yeah, already 93 population for him. He got a reboom fast, very fast. Yeah. But really, a nice, a nice and aggressive game. Me likes it. Exciting. Very. Oh, oh, let's see, let's see. Alive coming forward with villagers, but why? What he'll Organize. prepare? Oh! What he'll prepare? A lot of forward villages for him, but like I said, why? What for?
Okay, uh, seems that the, the push in the right side, Vietnamese somehow managed to stop it for now. And poo, they don't seem to be uh, to be able to push more than they already doing. But let's see, Gray might lose another castle. The trebuchet is hitting. And it seems that Till is also uh, making the Siege Onager upgrade. Nice raiding again in the middle with blue uh, Paladins. Looks like Brazil is doing a lot more trade as well. Yeah, yeah. But look, look now again, blue and orange hitting purple one more time. And yeah, he's making now the, the the pike upgrade the pike upgrade i mean for 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 fiage yes. he wants to keep alive save there he wants to keep alive alive you know what i mean <laughs> yeah <laughs> no no pun intended <laughs> yes yes oh but looks like looks like this push is 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 quite stronger for brazil team in the right side i mean Still with trebuchets hitting and sending a few more siege ramps. A lot of elite plumed archers and elite mango dice. Look at Grey. Look at Grey now switching to skirmishers. Just because I, I think his economy uh, doesn't look too good. Still with 153 population. And alive purple managed to to recover a little bit but getting hit back again at least he's now having around 120 population with VH uh, having paladins paladins he will also have pikes yeah he's making pikes to deal with those uh, with blue paladins Come on, man. Advance, advance. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I, I really do think Teal needs uh, Siege Onagers upgrade. I mean, Onagers are good, are, re are really good, but he needs them Siege to be even more stronger. Yeah. Oh, but now Orange, Orange coming with uh, with uh, rams. Look, he might destroy one of uh, Purple's castles. Yeah, he's having Oh yeah, chances. that's going down, yeah. He's going down. Four rams hitting that one. There's no way that he can keep it repaired. Even though Fiege is putting up a great fight there. Basically fighting versus two because Purple... Mm, purple is still weak. He still needs more time be able to come back in, into the fight I think Except VNS are holding them pretty well on the right side considering yeah 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 well now with Siege Onager obviously much stronger much stronger like we said in the start and yeah hit hit the, hit the trebuchets guys one down one more hit and the second for Dogao will be down and he is down. There he is. And more Siege Onagers from here. Yes. Oh, he's While got seven cap rams on that. I on see that now. On the left, yeah. Seven, seven cap rams that... Ooh. I don't know what to say, but if, if alive, if purple will manage to keep that castle, you know, repaired, it's, it's like a miracle, man. Yeah, it's gonna go. One hundred hit points and bye bye. Yeah, th there were too many, too many, too many kept ramps. Yeah. Oh, definitely. Ah, uh, but I, uh, I don't like that Teal. He's not paying attention, man. He's, he's sending those siege onagers, you know, forward to kill the plumed archers, but he's getting right into the the castle fire. Oh yeah. Look at that, losing and. You know, yes. the, the, the siege, the, the mangle and the oranges, whatever, they are so expensive. They are so, so expensive. 
But this push in the left side also from, from the Vietnamese team, they still trying. It's it's dangerous. Uh, it looks like Alive is just unable to, to reboom to, to recover. He is still around one to 113, 120 population after for oh. so long. At least he's in Imperial. That's that's a good thing. Yeah. Man, come on, push, push, push. And now nice thing from the Vietnamese team, the team in the right side. Look, so many elite skirmishers uh, to fight versus Mangodais and Plume Darchers. But I really do think Grey needs more rams. Rams and push, man. Push more ore. Uh, just make a one, two trebuchets, you know, behind those uh, skirmishers. Yeah, Try yeah. To do something, man. And now Fiege, of course, moving with Halbs and a few Paladins will be able to, to push back Blue, which is still raiding Purple. Oh man, finally I see Purple around 140 population, recovering a little bit more. And they are talking about deleting, you know, some uh, like Lumber Camp to make uh, a, better, a better trade route. Yeah. No more smooth, so they don't bump into each other. Yeah, yeah. Do that. Come on, Gray or Teal. Make trebuchets, dude, to, to use uh, behind that. Yes. Those mango dice and skirmishers. Huh. Well. I, I still think that uh, Brazil um, at this point is having a small advantage. They managed to uh, to prevent, you know, to, to block the attack in the left side, finally. And in the right side, I'm not saying that they're winning clearly because they were stopped, uh, but uh, they gained, uh, you know, some, some advantage. They control more of the map. But hey, it's not over. We gotta do more than this. And I see Grey yeah. now coming forward with trebuchets. And once more, Dogao should repair that castle, and he is. And try to, or to destroy the, the trebuchets. And Dogao, Mongol, yes. I see him having now Onagers. Probably he will also go for Siege Onagers. But I think that castle will fall. There are three trebuchets hitting the castle. There is no way that he can keep it safe. And he's down. But what an exciting game. This way, that way. It's been back and forth. Yeah, wow. Yeah. While in the left side, in the left side, look at this. Look at this push now. Push back from Fiege and, and the live and purple. Oh, Coming back, man. yep. It was like a life coming back, back from the dead. Really impressive. Fast rebooming. And now coming forward with capped rams. And mm, yeah, I think they got it, man. I think they got it, the Brazilian yeah, team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Dogao now having siege onagers, which of course are much stronger. Oh, interesting. Look, for, look at, uh, look at green. Also having elite eagles, which are so good to raid, man, and not only. Really yeah. Nice. Really yeah. Nice. Ah, look, look at look at blue with Spanish. He's he's trying to go standard infantry. He's having long swords. Probably he will do the two-handed swordsman upgrade and finally the champion upgrade. Uh, I'm not convinced that they will be able to hold there. Anyway, nice attempt. Yes, two-handed swordsman now for them. While in the right side, again, Dogao and Wrath trying to advance. Yeah, they pushed that off. They, they pushed straight off. I missed how they got away with that, but yeah, yeah, yeah. man. Huh. 
and both teams are trading of course i didn't see any any of them well i think for vietnam for vietnamese team will be harder because they are fully walled there in the back you see brazil team their yeah. trading is working great while the vietnamese team is not fully walled so ooh, it's tricky Okay, now alive seems that he will lose. He will start to lose a few bomber towers. Baby she now from orange, but why is not now VH uh, sending a few paladins? I'm looking at his resources. He's having almost 3,000 gold, man. Over 1,000 huh. food, so he easily can can go for paladins. Because now his trading is working excellent. Yeah. Yeah, big advantage there. And uh, uh, White's going down. VH put some Paladins in there, but yeah, you know, yeah. they just all died. And indeed, Blue went uh, went champions after he was uh, he was trying to use Paladins. And uh, they're in on the trade there, Purple was. With yeah, Conquistadors. Yeah. Conquistadors, yep. Elite Conquistadors. Yeah, but don't fight a lot of skirmishers. In my opinion, I think would be would be a good idea for him to to switch to paladins as well. Oh, but look at Teal! They are signaling. Look at Teal in the trade route with a few mangodais killing a lot of. Trading cars from Brazilian team. Oh, oh yeah. man! <laughs> How did he go inside? Where? Wood, please. I didn't see him go there. <laughs> ah, they overchopped, man. Look at Green. Even though he's having the castles, he could go inside from there. Okay, now oh, yeah, yeah. he's sending a few paladins, but they lost poo, so much trade, man. That was crazy. And look at fast, he's sending even more uh, mango dice. No. Yeah. They're yeah, he's gonna do some damage with them. Yes. A a and exactly, this is what they're saying. Wall! Wall! Yeah, he's coming with more mango dice. He's trying again to go to the trade route. But Fiege is now there with a few paladins. Also, but look at top, top left. Top left. Yeah, what about through it? with the uh, oh, manga dice. I see it, I see it. Oh man. Pur this... Purple over chopped. <laughs> and look at blue coming forward with siege ramps, uh, champions, halbs, paladins, even hussars, hitting one of VH uh, castle. And yeah, you were right. Look, look at top right, right cor uh, left corner. Sorry. Mangoda is killing again a lot of trade, guys. Wake up, man. Wow. This is massive, really. While while the trade route for the Vietnamese team, well, uh, Dogao, I see a, a lot of dead uh, bodies from his uh, Mangoda. He, he was also trying to go to the trade route, but they got rid of it. Okay, Fiege now there with Paladins trying to hit him. And he will, of course. I think he's gonna lose it, though. No, nah, no, nah, the, the paladins are really strong. No. All oh, right. Okay. They need, they need quite a lot more, uh, you know, mango dice to kill them. But they are, they are very good, nevertheless. They are so good. Elite conquistadors from alive, still making siege workshops. Ooh, but now look at that. Look in the left, lower left uh, corner. Purple hitting with uh, with siege ramps, orange castle, and they are almost in the trade route, man. Brazil team. bombard cannons. Yes, uh, bomber no, towers. Cannons, sorry, bomber towers with uh, elite conquistadors. Now orange is about to lose that castle. In the right side, they are still trying to push. Oh, how can he counter this? 
Pooh. Well, he needs he needs blue, really. He needs blue. There with with paladins with whatever army. Don't let him like this. And look at look at orange. Uh, trying to go there with a few cav archers, but purple elite conquistadors on the hill is waiting for the trade to come. Is not the best placement if you're asking me. Yeah, using use the military VH, they are signaling those mango dice from the Vietnamese team, uh, trying to find another another place to to hit the trade. And Dogao needs wood, I think four is wood. Yep. Woo! What a game! Bloody hell! Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, but they, they are still advancing with bomber towers, with siege ramps. Fiege is there with siege ramps. Alive is there with siege ramps. A lot of fight while in the... Where is... Where is Teal? That uh, just a few paladins left for him when he was trying to go and again hit the trade route. I don't know how much longer they, they can hold really. Both flanks now, looking both flanks in left and right. Brazil team you know, still keep uh, putting pressure on. Yeah. Mm, don't even think the Eagle Warriors will save the day there on uh, with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you mean. Grey and now switch to also uh, Eagle Warriors and Blue coming with a few Paladins trying to destroy those trebuchets and the Siege Onagers. Oh, he just there. took all those Mangadai yes, out. Yes, come on, man, hit. Now Dogao gonna lose those trebuchets. Oh man. But he's safe there and probably yes in, in the left side. Look now in the left side. They push totally man. Oh purple is there with a elite conquistadors killing the trade. Free age with a lot of uh, paladins. And alive moving forward with more bomber towers. Using siege rams yeah. as well. Yeah, it, this it is seems like it's it, it's lost. It's lost for Vietnam. And they call it GG. But what yep. a game! Like you said, what a game, man! They play better than thought once yes. again. Yes, yes. Yeah, blue with a lot of uh, with a lot of barracks, but I don't know what he can do. With uh, with only albs, you know, doesn't seem to to have to be that that strong. And yes, man, without trade, how they how they they could go on? They calling it GG, man. But it, again, I'm saying, what a game, what a game! Great play, great play by both teams. Brilliant fights, loads of excitement in there, man. Yeah. And alive, you gotta say alive. Man, he got hit three or four times, he got pushed back, but then he came back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Great, great game. And fast changing the score, guys. 1-0 for Brazil B team. Fast looking at the achievements. Dogao did very good. Fiege also did great, especially defending uh, a life purple. And that would have uh, fishes um, that. What did he do? Lost about eight to ten villages. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but he came back good as well. So, yeah, it was a brilliant game. Awesome to watch. A real pleasure.